Okay, so in our last video, uh, previous video was uh, going over how to create this particular passenger base. Uh, the last video here is going to create, uh, we're going to create the wheel uh, that it wants us to create from the guide. So to do that, we're going to create a sketch plane on the XZ plane and we'll upright right on the view cube. And the strategy it wants us to use here is it wants us to make something called offset circles. And uh, it's easier than you think. All we have to do is we just create a circle. And then from that circle, we're going to create another circle. And to do that, we go to the modify window and we select offset. And if we select any geometry, it's going to allow us to pull away additional geometry away from that. So I make a circle here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make even more offset circles. And I can create a series of concentric circles uh, per the sketch. I'm going to dimension the locations, and some of them notice that the, uh, the dimensioning is the diameter rather than the, um, uh, sorry, the distance rather than the diameter. So in this case, the diameter of this circle is going to be 0.44. And we got to zoom in here and make this uh, fit. And then we're going to select two circles this time and dimension the space between them. And the space between them is 0.05. And then we also are going to dimension uh, from here to here a distance of 0.35 and then a distance from here to here of 0.05 all right so we got the uh, uh, we got the rings of the wheels and what we're going to do now is we're going to finish the sketch and then we're going to extrude the both rings and we have to kind of play around with the view here to make sure that both rings get extruded and right now obviously this model uh, is as shown here is not physically possible um, but you know that's the beauty of CAD so we have 0.57 and then we got um, our outer rings now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new sketch on the flat face and we're going to use this face right here and we're going to project geometry to transfer the geometry of the inner and outer walls to the sketch plane so we've used the project geometry tool before uh, we're going to just make sure that we've got inner and outer walls of the previous wheels on the sketch plane. Now, once we do that, this is this is the interesting part. We're going to finish the sketch. We're actually not going to put any sketch on here. The sketch itself will just be of the geometry. So when we do the extrusion, we're now we're going to do what's called a half plane extrusion. If we select the entire sketch plane in between here, we sketch the area that's in between the the rings. We're going to go to this half sketch, half plane here. It basically is going to extrude both distances at an equal spot away and we're going to go 0.05 so it means it's going to go 0 0.025 on the right and then also 0 0.025 on the left and then we hit OK and we're going to get this sort of uh, hub here um, just double check I want to make sure I did that correctly uh, that I did the half plane extrusion correctly uh, and I did okay so that's that now and you'll notice here if you kind of look on here you can see now that there is an interior part and we can kind of select this part here and see that there is another half plane half of that surface in the inside. Okay, so we've done that. Now, the next part here is we're going to make a pattern on the wheel. And we're going to make a sketch plane that's on the back of the wheel, like this. And we're going to create a sort of these like cutouts for the wheel. All we have to really do is create a couple of three-point arcs. And I find that when you constrain the three-point arcs directly to the outside edge, it's easiest to reproduce the features. So we do one three-point arc that kind of sticks out here, and then we're going to do another three-point arc to the same two points, but we're going to constrain it to the geometry. So we get this sort of um, feature here. Okay. Now, the next thing we have to do is we're going to have to dimension. We're going to dimension the radius of the arc to be 0.25 and that actually is going to create all the things we need to uh, to do here. So I'm going to try to uh, make sure we got that. That should work just fine. Okay. Now the last part of the of creating the wheel is we have to make a circular pattern, and uh, the circular pattern is going to allow us to basically repeat the same geometry around a distance. And we have to do to do that. We're going to create a couple of um, uh, parameters here. Okay, so the circular pattern is right up here, and we're going to select, first we're going to select the geometry that we want to repeat, we're going to select the two lines that we put on here, and then we're going to select a point of rotation, which in this case is right here. And then the second thing we have to type in 
is how many do we want. In this case, we want five. And see, what it'll do is it'll evenly space that same exact geometry equidistant around this point of rotation. In the future, you also can use a line if you want. And that'll also allow you to make revolutions in the future. So we've done that. We then hit OK. And now we've got this nice little circular pattern. We can finish the sketch. And then we can extrude and we can cut away the features. And we can just select all five profiles and we hit OK. And now we've got ourselves, oops, I did not hit cut correctly. Let's try that again. Okay, we're going to cut that, 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 and that, and that. And we also have to cut it 0.2 or so. There we go. Okay. I know 0.2 is too much, but uh, the point is we want to make sure it goes all the way through. Okay. So when you're done, that's what you should have. And then we're going to just go ahead and again select the material. And let's make this one here some sort of plastic. Uh, let's see what we get if we type in plastic here. Uh, we can do white plastic. We can do uh, polycarbonate, smoke. Let's do smoke. Why not? Let's go with that. Okay. And then we got ourselves a nice wheel. Cool. All right, and that's your wheel, and that's all the four parts that you need to create for this project. So again, remember to submit screenshots of each of the parts and upload them to the LMS. Have a great day.